guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today is going to be the start of something new as Troy and Gabriella would say but not really today's video is going to be the start of my beauty room transformation I have been wanting to get this room done for the longest time we have been staying at this place for the past three years and this room especially I just really wanted to get done because I want to show you guys a final room tour a lot of you guys have been asking for a room tour as well but because I'm such a perfectionist there were just a lot of things that I wanted to upgrade that wasn't up to uh, you could say my standard and I never wanted to show you guys until it was 100% what I felt happy with um, and if a lot of you guys have moved out you would know that furniture and home decor is not cheap so I've been putting a lot more effort in to finishing this room up and today is the start of that because I have a new table that I purchased, I got a mirror, I got some things from Kmart here that I need to set up and I think today we can slowly start you know changing things up. I'm going to be changing the layout and everything else like that and I'm really really excited because I spend so much time in this room i feel like my life really does revolve around my channel so this room is where i create this room is where i get ready everything i want to make it very cozy and just you know more my aesthetic and that's another thing i'm actually quite glad when we did move out we were like kind of broke because if i was able to furnish everything back when i was 22 when I first moved in here. My aesthetic back then was very typical Pinterest type of aesthetic like a lot of white, pinks and grey. Uh, more on that like classy fancy side which is nothing wrong with that if that's your aesthetic that is beautiful. It was mine at one point in time. But now that I'm almost 25, a young lady adult, I feel like I've just really honed into what I actually do like and my actual aesthetic because I feel like back then I just felt like I had to have that Pinterest beauty room, you know, with a lot of the Ikea tables and stuff like that. But my aesthetic now is very woodsy, um, a lot of rattan, brown, a lot of wood, very cozy, vintagey vibes, um, and that is a total transformation from that sort of classy look. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited to get this room done. Um, it's just been on my mind a lot and this room is just so cluttered and there's just stuff all over the place. Today is the 26th of February and me guessing, I'm gonna assume this video is gonna go up mid-April. So two months later. Um, there are just some things I ordered off AliExpress. Who knows when that will come and like I mentioned, I'm a perfectionist. Everything has to be how I want it before I upload it. So yeah, who knows? Maybe even in May or June, we don't know. So yeah, I guess I will show you guys a before so you guys can get a general feel and I want to keep that for myself as well like as a nice memory. So I'll show you guys around. So I'm just standing where my door is, but this is an overview of my beauty room. You can see there is a lot of clutter. There's a lot of things on the floor here. Um, I have this closet here, which I'm probably going to add into this video as well, because as you can tell, it is literally I just chuck things in here and shut the door because it's just a mess. Um, this mirror I'm going to keep. Uh, this mirror is from Harry's mom. I like the dark brown. I have two clothing racks here, which you can tell are just, you know, cluttered. Got more things on the floor here. And then this corner is where I keep all of my makeup. So my makeup storage. I don't mind this one too much. I did order new uh, door handles off AliExpress that I'm going to change those out, which would suit the vibe of the room a lot more and I probably would just declutter some things off the uh, tabletop so it's just more simple and easier on the eyes. Then we move to my vanity table and trolley, just a lot of clutter. This table is not going to be the center of the room anymore but um, the way I'm going to lay everything out, I'm going to pretty much move my new table and I'm going to put it here against this wall. You guys will see, but anyway, um, yeah, this table is actually going to be gone. I might reuse it as like my office table instead. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even use a proper chair, you guys. I use a footstool to sit on. A lot of stuff on the floor. I got my 
hair stuff, my charges, everything is on the floor. It's just cluttered. And this stuff here is some new things that I bought uh, for the makeover. So we're going to break into these today. I have my clothing rack here, which is just full of stuff more stuff on the floor i'm actually going to be changing out the blinds as well i'm going to change it into uh, curtains instead i mean i like it it's been like this for a very long time i've created so many videos with my room being like this but it's a time for change and i need something more efficient so here is the overview All right, so the first task in the transformation is to build my new desk. Look how long this desk is. I'm going to have so much room. But this desk is from Target Furniture. I'll link it down below. Um, I don't know how it is Target Furniture worldwide, but this is the Olsen desk. I'm going to have three top drawers now. Um, so yeah, we're going to build this one first. So I'm going to be putting against this wall and then I'm going to be filming like this, this way. So here are what the drawers are looking like so far. So there's three in total. The first one are all of my base products. So we have primer, foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, and highlight, and it fits perfectly. These containers are perfect as well, but we did have to make it work. So these containers, they actually have these um, the little bumps here. If they didn't have these little bumps, then it would fit perfectly. Um, so what Harry has been doing is he's been mounting off those little bumps so that way it will fit perfectly or like this. Still a tight squeeze, but it works. And then Harry did finish making the bamboo uh, trolley. This one is from Kmart and it's like meant for the bathroom. I don't know how I like it with the desk because it's like wood and then wood as well. But I'm going to keep it here for now. And I have put my two little baskets here that were on the floor previously on the bottom. So this is my empties basket and this is sort of like my giveaway box for when my friends come over. I just show them this box and they can take whatever they want. Um, so these fit perfectly and I think it actually looks really nice at the bottom there. I also got this lamp from Kmart as well. Textured based table lamp. And I'm thinking of putting that on top of my desk. So that's how the lamp looks like on the table. I think it actually looks really cute. I don't know how I feel about the actual lampshade though, the white. I feel like it should have been a creamy white and that would have looked way better with the body of the lamp. That just looks kind of weird. So I might try and find like a secondhand lampshade or something online or in a thrift store. What I want to talk about today, the first thing, is my beautiful new chair. I love the wood. I love the brown. Brown is my favorite color. But the thing that attracted me the most is that this, this actually spins. So this is what I've been sitting on for the past, I don't know, four or five years. It's just a stool. Dun, 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 dun. I do my makeup like this and then I turn around. Hey guys. And I can go like this and I can go like this. So that is what it looks like. It doesn't look good right now, you guys. There's a lot of clutter. I know I'm getting rid of all that clutter. I'm going to move that clothing stand as well, but it's so cute. I am obsessed. I also got a new lamp. So I showed you guys last time that I got that lamp from Kema and I wanted to get a new lampshade. Well, I'm still gonna get a new lampshade, but I'm not gonna put this in my room because I saw this beauty and I thought it would match, you know, my table a lot better um, because it's like that creamy color and just that pattern is quite similar to the mirror. This is secondhand. I got it from um, like a secondhand seller. 
uh, it's called Plenty NZ. I'll leave their Instagram down below as well. So I got this little table on wheels. It does stick out a little bit. I don't really know if that really matches the aesthetic of the room, but it will come very handy when I film um, just because I need something here. So the camera is usually this way and I don't have anything here to like put down the products. Although it's not like 100% fitting the aesthetic, I think it's just something I need to film. So that's gonna go there for now and I just put my fake plant there as well. Alright guys, so it's been a while since I've updated you on my room for you. Obviously, it's like literally two seconds, but for me, I think it's been a couple months since I've filmed anything for this room. I've done some things off camera and there's some things I want to do today. I think my camera is like slowly slipping, but look at my sweet baby boy. Look at him. Anyway, there's a couple things that I want to do today. Do you want to go? Do you want to go down? You want to stay with me? He wants to go. Which one? Which one? Okay, he's still here. Um, but I bought curtains, which out of everything that I've bought for this room, that really hurt. That was really expensive. It was like $300, 300 New Zealand. So about like 150, 180 USD. That was really expensive. It's going to be quite voluptuous. So there's a lot of things that I need to actually move around. Um, but I got like the curtain rods, like two curtain rods. The actual curtains and then like sort of the draping shade i don't know the technical terms you guys will see it but that was like 300 and i'm like that's only for one room and i eventually want to change all of our blinds in this place to curtains and I just imagine how much it's going to cost but anyway that one hurt everything else i'm like you know it's an investment but like curtains I'll show you other things that I have done in this room. Tubby's still sitting on me, so I don't want to move too much. But I got this rug from Kmart. I will link it down below for you guys. It's a nice like round jute rug. And then I got this circular round table. I got it for $50, but I actually could have gotten it for $70 brand new. And I would have preferred that because it's a little... It's a little musky. Photos didn't really show the actual condition of the table, but it's fine. From far away, you can't really tell, but it's the perfect size and that's what I wanted. It actually lifts up so it acts as storage as well. I just have some decor there. It's not how I want it to be, but it is there for now. My clothing rack, I still need to fix. That's a work in progress. We're not going to focus on it on today, but I did get this little guy here. I think it's like a planter pot. I don't really know, but I just use it to hide away my charges. I also got some spray paint because I'm gonna spray paint the silver door handle here because in my videos I'm sort of like this. Just imagine the doors closed. I don't I can't get up right now. Tubby is still here. Um but you know how this is gold and then that is silver. That really bothers me. I realize I'm a very micro person. I've always known this about myself that I am a micro person, but after doing this room, I'm like, wow, I really, really look at the small details. I was even thinking of spray painting my makeup brushes, like the handle, because it doesn't match each other and it doesn't match this container that I got. This container is from AliExpress. So these are the curtains that I got. This is going to be that like outer curtain. And then these are the sheer curtains that's going to be on the back track. So I got two and then I got these two rods. So one is the back track rod and then one is like for this main curtain and then she told me I needed this as well so everything like all of this was about 300 and something and I got this on sale as well I think a lot of the things were like 20 30 40 percent off depending on the item so I think in total if there was no special it would have been about 500 which is like really crazy I don't know if I'm just getting ripped off if I went to a really bougie place I went to the curtain studio So these are the drawer handles that I got off AliExpress. Look how pretty it is. I love the brassy gold with the creamy middle here. Um, so I think that will look really good um, on my drawers and I think it will match the room aesthetic a little bit more than those like silver ones over there. This is what it looks like. Fits perfectly. And now we'll just change the remaining. How much better does that look?
All right, you guys. So today, finally, is the day that I'm going to be showing you the final room tour. There probably is going to be a big jump from the previous clip to this clip because I haven't updated you guys on this room in a while, in a couple months really, and I haven't actually filmed any of the final touches that I did to this room. Um, so there's going to be a big change from that, but I think it's a good surprise unless I already spoiled it in the intro, which... I probably did because I'm not a clickbait kind of person but anyway um, there is going to be a big jump just because there was a lot that I did off camera and I didn't film that mainly because I really just wanted to get this done without filming it because sometimes when I film something I feel a lot of pressure um, just to get the lighting right to get the certain framing right and stuff like that and a lot of stuff that I did at the end um, I did like at midnight and the perfectionist in me you know I didn't want to have clips filmed in the daytime and then clips filmed at nighttime because that really bothers me. I want to keep the lighting as consistent as it can be. So that's the reason why I didn't film and also I just wanted time just to finish off this room and you know just play some music and just finish this room because we recently did lose Tubby and after we lost Tubby, I just wanted to keep busy and this project is probably one of the biggest projects I have on right now. So yeah, pretty long explanation of why I didn't film extra clips. So if you're wondering like, well, there was a big jump, that's the reason why. But enough talking, let me show you the final beauty room. So standing from the entrance of the room, here is a quick pan of the new beauty room. But we're gonna start from the front door. I have this beautiful floral arrangement in a shape of a J. This is from KT Florals. I'm gonna be linking everything down below in my description box in order of appearance. A lot of the stores are New Zealand stores because I am based here in New Zealand, but I'll leave them all down below anyway, just in case if you're interested. I feel like this is just the perfect door decoration to enter my room. I feel like this floral arrangement really represents my aesthetic and the aesthetic of the room as well. So I also want to talk about the door as well because we actually spray painted the door handles gold and honestly if I could go back in time I would skip that I would not paint it gold we actually spray painted it and then some of the spray paint got onto the white wall so I had to actually repaint my entire door but this is the door I think it looks really nice gold handle and then the warm floral J love it and then if we just come down here this is my new filming setup my new vanity table I first have this bamboo trolley the trolley is from Kmart this rubber bin here is also from Kmart. The baskets are also from Kmart as well. I got four and they fit perfectly inside. And then as for this basket here, this one is from Good Kind. They are a New Zealand seller that resells secondhand things and I got it from them. And in this basket, I just keep products that are new to me that I want to try out. So that way I have them laid out and I know what I want to try. So when I'm getting ready, they're right over here. So that's all the new products that I haven't tried yet or I want to keep testing out. And then in the baskets here, I have my hair accessories. So any headbands, hair clips, curlers, anything hair related goes in here. And here are all of my lashes, which there is a lot in there and I use the same four lashes all the time, but all my lashes are here. The last two baskets, this one is all of my empty products. So I just throw it in here and then at the end of the year or halfway through the year, I film my empties video. And then in this basket, extra products that I get from PR that I don't really want to try or they're not cruelty free that I think my friends or family might like so I keep it in here and if they come over I just pull out this basket and they can take what they like and then we move into my new vanity table my new filming setup so you guys saw me set up my new table this is from Target so much longer so much more space I love that and then my chair this one is from Catcher's Furniture I believe I also showed you guys this as well and I love Love it because it actually spins which is really convenient and I think the color and everything matches perfectly so let's go through my vanity table this little heart-shaped decor mirror jewelry case is from Yesel I think it is discontinued I don't think they have it anymore but um, I'll try to find it if I can I have some hair clips on display this green one is from Glassons this brown one is from Yesel 
This coaster is also from Yester, but you can purchase it from Daiso. And then I have this cube candle here from Ella Viz. Um, I took one of her candle making classes like twice and I really liked it, but she sent me this candle. This vase I also got from a New Zealand secondhand seller. I forgot the shop name, but I'll leave it down below. I buy from her a lot. And then this wooden pear is also from Good Kind, the same place I got this tray. And then the dried flowers are from Thorn by Thorn, also a New Zealand small business, Asian owned as well. And then as for this mirror, this is second hand. I got it off Trade Me, which is kind of like, I think it's kind of like Craigslist in America. I'm not too sure, but it's just where people sell their things for second hand or brand new. Um, but that's where I got it from. And then on this side of the vanity, this clear brush holder case I got from AliExpress. It did come a little broken, but they did refund me my money, so that was nice. Um, the brushes are from Morphe, tie-ins and makeup by Ariel. These are M Cosmetics uh, serum blushes. I thought they were really nice to display. I just filled up this empty Jo Malone candle with pearls. That's, you guys know me, I love my pearls. And I have this like Too Faced blush box back here because I just thought it was pretty. And then for this lamp, it's also second hand. I got it from the same shop I got this vase. But I really love the details. I feel like it really suits my mirror. And then, this is my phone, but I got this phone holder. Um, from AliExpress and I got it in the dark brown because it matches my aesthetic and also my phone case matches really well as well but um, I just have that there. This coaster is from Daiso. You can get a pack for four. And then we move into this little moving table here. Um, I actually pull this out all the way here when I'm filming and then my camera that's in the corner right now goes about here and then you guys see all of this. Does it look familiar? Um, but yeah, I just pushed it back because, you know, I wanted to make everything nice and tidy for you. So this trolley I also got from Trade Me. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend it. It feels pretty, uh, cheap. Um, it's pretty wonky, but it's the only moving table that I could find this size and this color. So we'll just have to go with it. But this is from Trade Me. And this mirror is from Easehold. I think they sent this to me maybe last year. And I use it all the time. It is an LED. And I do use this lighting for my videos. Um, so this comes in handy. And usually I do have a lot of jewelry here. But I cleaned that for you guys. The table does have little compartments. So my tissue box cover is from YesStyle. I have my lashes here. This is the remote for my CD player. Micella water. I keep my jewelry in here. And all my contacts hair things and then I keep my mirror this is the mirror that I use to do my makeup but it's also one of my favorite blushes this is a brush cleaner from Odin's Eye and then this beauty blender holder is from Shop Miss A and then if we just move down here to the floor so I just have this silk fabric folded um, I use this a lot for like background things for my product shots but I think it's a nice cover-up to cover all of this underneath here. Makeup wipes, my body lotion, another light, a tripod, and a box just for some height for my tripod. And then back here is just my straightener and my hair dryer. And then this little guy here, this is from Kmart. Um, I just keep all of my charges in here just so it looks a little more tidy, you know. Um, I ideally wouldn't want it here, but this is the only power plug that I could actually use in this room, so. That's that, it just looks a little bit more tucked away. And then let's talk about my rug. So this rug is from Kmart as well. I think it's the perfect size for this room, perfect color, and it wasn't too expensive either. I also wanna talk about my curtains as well, which I probably already did show you, but these are from Curtain Studio. And I think, honestly, the curtains really just changed up the room a lot. Behind my curtain, I just have my CD player here. This is from Astro Nord. And I got this as a Christmas gift last year from my friend Joy. And I currently have a JB's new CD 
playing. Um, I actually just got this CD today. And it's here behind the curtain because I actually placed this before I redid my room. So, I mean, it's okay. The music still plays well and it's like kind of hidden. So that's, that's okay. I don't mind it. And then we move into my makeup drawers. So as you can tell, I now have two sets of these drawers. Before, I only had one. But let's start from the top. So that fake plant there in the corner is also from Kmart as well. I have my subscriber plug. Um, the thing that it's standing on, it's actually from something else that I got off AliExpress, but I have just reused it for that. This vase is from AliExpress as well. The dry flowers, again, from Thorn by Thorn. This candle is from Sunday Market Store, also a New Zealand Instagram store as well. This candle, very expensive. I got this as a Christmas gift last year from my good friend, so I have that on display. I don't know if I'll ever burn it, but yeah, it's there, and it does smell really good. And then on this side, this mirror tray is also from Kmart. And then I just have this flower book here. I think I got it from Book Depository. Flowers again from Thorn by Thorn. And then my incense is from a New Zealand brand, but I think it's discontinued now, but I got it from Farmers. And then the drawers are from Target Furniture too, but I actually changed the uh, handles. So I got these handles off AliExpress before they were silver. Should I go through my makeup collection? Wait, I didn't show you my top drawer. No, okay. Let me come back here. So in this drawer here, I have primers, concealers, and my base products. Then we have all of my cheek products and my powder products back there. These containers are from Daiso. They no longer have this specific style, but um, Daiso does have really good clear containers. All of my eye products, and these are all my eyeliners and just like the long skinny things. And then back there is all of my go-to lip colors. And then the last drawer, I have all of my Project Pan stuff. So my base products here and then all of the other things back here. And then back here, I just have some products that I want to start using once I finish these products. So let's move back to the drawers. Okay, this entire cabinet here, these seven drawers are all ColourPop products. And then this drawer is all of the other brands. So ColourPop literally has its own drawer. It's insane. I, oh my gosh. Anyway, okay, first drawer we have are all of my lip products. So we got just a tint, we got the ultra glossy lips back there, and then the So Juicy, the lip liners. And then these are the same containers from Daiso, by the way, and then more of lip products, lippy sticks, just a quick overview for you guys. And then this one is all of my Luxe lipsticks. Here is all of the face products. So we have their pressed blushes, Super Shock, um, their Cheek Juice, their Soul Body things over there as well. And then in this drawer is all of their eye things. So we got their eyeliners, their Super Shock eyeshadows, their pots, their glitters, their liners, their pigments, their color sticks, all of the eye things go in here. So in this drawer here holds all of the nine pans and the mini palettes and then the mega palettes. And the last drawer on the bottom holds their 12 pans and anything bigger than that. And then onto the next drawer. So on top here, I just have all of my contacts. Most of these are from Olens and I do get sent these. They send me quite a lot that I don't really get to use, but my favorites um, would have to be the Spanish line and the Scandi. I don't really use these ones, but sometimes for certain looks, they do come in handy, so I just keep them anyway. But here is the monthly. These are the daily, and then I have some Harper Christine ones as well. The next drawer. The next drawer contains my bronzers, my blush, and then my highlighters that come from other brands other than ColourPop. The next drawer. Oh, this looks a little full. Um, so here are all of my lip products that come from other brands, all of my eye extra things, and back here is all of my like, I don't know, when I want to do more unique makeup, like paint, stickers, pearls, all that kind of stuff goes back there. This drawer is some of my eyeshadow palettes. So on this end, we have Odin's Eye, Urban Decay, Milani, Dose of Colors, Kaleidos over here. And then this drawer, more eyeshadows. So we have Anastasia on this side, BH, Juvia's top, uh, more like smaller brands, and then just more small things here. All right, and then in here, I just have some extra products that I got sent in PR. So this one contains my makeup extras, and then the bottom drawer is all of my like skincare extras, which is a lot, and I really need to get through these, but that's all of my backup stuff, so yeah. And if we move a little down here, 
These two pillows are from Kmart as well. I just thought it'd be nice with this little coffee table I have here and if someone comes over and we want to have girl talk, we have these pillows to sit on or just to hold. When I do my comparisons here because the two Colourpop palette drawers are down here. I sit on these pillows and I do my comparisons sitting down here. And then this table I did get second hand. I think I showed you guys that I kind of regret it because for the price I paid, I could have just got the same thing brand new. But there is storage in here, but I'm not going to open that because we have all of this stuff on top. So let's break down what's on top here. So this is from AliExpress. I got another one of these candles. I got this one for my birthday this year. My favorite perfume from Jo Malone. This is my scent. If you want to know what I smell like, this is what I always spray. And then this arrangement is from a New Zealand brand called Bloom Flowers. Um, it actually lights up and I'll show you what the room looks like at nighttime because I actually turn this on every night because my friend Denise and Kadeen got this for me when Tubby passed away and I turn it on every night just to like remind me of him because this is this is a really special spot um, and I do have a film photo of Tubby and Rocky here and then on the other side it's me and Tubby this frame is from Kmart, but this is really special because it's right next to his photo and this table. Tubby actually used to always sit underneath here. Like for some reason, like he would always just sit under here every time I'm in this room at nighttime. This was just like his go-to sleeping spot. I do have this container here. It's just full of like extra decor things that I just don't know where to put. So I'm just storing it underneath here, but Tubby used to always sit under here and I kind of just turned this on to remember him every night, which I just felt like it was so perfect and next to his photo as well. So this is like my little special corner here. But this green cube candle is from that same uh, pear candle up there. And then this coaster I got from Daiso or Yesda. I can't remember which one I got from where. And the dried baby's breath is from Thorn by Thorn. All the dry flowers are Thorn by Thorn. So we have this cactus cat scratcher. Only Cookie really scratches on this. Tubby um, scratched on this a lot when he was still here with us. Um, but I leave it there for Cookie because I want to have something for them in this room. And then this fake plant is all from Kmart. The pot is from Kmart. I feel like it just adds more greenery to the room. And then here we have my clothing rack. The clothing rack is also from Kmart as well. The coat hangers are from Spotlight, but I actually did spray paint them gold, which I feel like you can't really tell too much on camera, but in person they look a lot more gold because it's the little things guys, it's the little things. Oh, another little thing I forgot to show you. Okay, so we also painted this. You can't really see the color, but you can see outside. It used to be navy and then I painted it to be more of this like golden brown color. And Rocky is here. Does she want to go up? Go on girl, go on girl. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Good girl. Okay, there she goes. Okay, we'll just cover her. And then this is like my color palette, you know, brown, nudes, and pops of greens. And then down here, uh, don't really have that much. I have my berets, but I have, you know, the color palette berets out on display. Green shoes, brown flats love it and then this brown mirror is from harry's mom she didn't want it anymore and then lastly we have my closet here which i also did spray paint um this one is nothing too interesting i didn't film a before of this but it does look a lot better so that's really scary up there but i just have <laughs> some of my wigs on display this is just storage really so yeah it looks a lot better than it did before but that you guys pretty much completes my beauty room tour this took me six months to transform and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys like it too. I do want to throw a disclaimer out though. I really did clean this room up to look as tidy as it could be. It does not look like this all the time. Probably never really. So I have these products here that I took out of the room because they didn't go with the aesthetic and they just looked a little bit cluttered and messy but these products are laid out and the room usually is a little bit more messy but here we have Rocky. Dun, 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 dun. If you guys did enjoy this video give the video a thumbs up for me I would appreciate it so much and with that being said I'll catch you guys in my next video.